Hey everybody, this video is going to show you two different things using MDS with your e-cutter. First I'm going to show you how to take letters that are not connected and how I'm going to show you how to connect them into one word so that you can peel just the word off of your mat instead of each individual letter. And I'm going to show you how to fatten up some of your letters so that they will come off easier. This is the card that I made using a stamp from let me show you this MDS set right here. It's called Mailbox Love Notes, and it's super cute. I love every bit of it. This is a stamp right here that I wanted to use. So I came over into my e-cutter, and I'm using the Silhouette Cameo. You can see this is what we're going to end up with right here. And the first thing I need to do is File, Merge. And you need to find your MDS. Um, folder where you know the program is stored on your computer and mine is under my C drive and my program files so I'm going to scroll all the way down find my digital studio and I want the components so this component specific component is a stamp so I'm going to click stamps and it is in the designer kits all right so they're alphabetical I'm going to scroll down to the mailbox love notes right here double click and when I do that there's nothing there because it's looking for studio files but we're looking for SVG luckily Stampin' Up! has made lots of these into SVGs and the Cameo recognizes the SVGs alright so when I change that you can see here all the stamps that are in that kit <clears throat> so here it is love love you I'm gonna click that twice and here we have it and I like to make them kind of big when I'm tracing them so that I can see them pretty easily first thing I'm going to do is trace just this top word okay so I'm going to come over here to the trace window and I'm going to select my trace area and I'm going to hold down and scroll over just the word that I want and if I traced it right now you're going to get a double yellow line I mean a double red line one on the outside and one on the inside of that yellow so we need to make the whole uh, letter the inside of the letter yellow so I'm going to change my high pass filter right here to 100 and there it fills it all in and I'm going to trace all right and I'm going to pull that black stamp away and there it is perfect now as you can see it's all connected as one and I want to make it overlap because I don't want to have to peel off each letter and then adhere them to my card individually it's easier when they're already connected so I'm going to cl um, click on it and then I am going to right click and weld now you can see how each letter now is highlighted individually all right so I'm going to click off and just to show you you can see how now they're all movable individually so I'm going to click on that O and I'm going to drag it over I'm using my left arrow just enough so that it's overlapping that L okay not too much we don't want to lose the shape of our letters but we do want them to be connected all right so I'm going to do the V a little bit and the E okay so now you can see how they're overlapped and if I cut it like this the cutter still gonna cut where it sees all those lines so we need to weld them together so I'm gonna drag and uh, select each letter and I'm gonna right click and choose weld again now you can see that they are connected and they move around as one piece now I wanted um, a heart in the middle I wanted something I felt like that just wasn't right you can see the stamp is like that but um, for, for my card, I wanted uh, something there, and I thought a heart would be perfect. So again, File and Merge. And in that same Mailbox Love Notes, I'm going to choose an S the SVG, and I'm going to choose that first heart. And I am going to select my trace area, trace over my heart, change my high pass filter to 100%, and trace. Now I can move that out of the way and I'm going to resize this a little bit like that and it's going to go right there in the middle and you can play with it until you like it. Perfect. Now I need to connect these because if I move this it's not going to move with it and I need to make them connected so that I can arrange them on my mat. So I'm going to select and drag until I see both of them connected and I'm going to come down here and I'm going to choose group and now they are one piece that will be cut out together I can copy and paste it over and over again to fill my mat if I want to cut a bunch of them and then it will be together okay so the next part is the U and in this stamp you can see here's the U already it's already 
ready to go, it's connected, but it's really skinny and narrow, and I'm afraid when I peel that off of my mat, it's going to tear because it's so skinny, and especially if I made it really small to cut. So I'm going to fatten it up a little bit. I'm going to select trace area, and again, remember, I'm just tracing over that one word, and I want to make my high-pass filter as high as it'll go so I don't get that double yellow, double red line. Now I'm going to click trace. All right, now I can move this out and you can see how it's um, pretty skinny. So I'm going to select it and I'm going to come over here to this window. It's right next to the trace window. It's the offset window and I'm going to choose offset. And when I do that, you can see how it, it created this giant bubble around it. Um, you can think of that as like um, a mat for your word, and that's really too big, I, way, way, way too big. You lose um, sense of what the word is. So I'm going to come over here and change this, and you can play around with it until you find what you like. But I found that um, 0 0.05 was really good. I'm going to hit Apply. And now you can see it's not much bigger, but it will make a difference when I'm pulling it off my mat. All right, now the last thing I need to do is I'm going to right-click and weld. Oh, I didn't do it. All right, let's try it again. Let's try it one more time. It's going to prove me wrong every time I do this video, and when I don't do the video, it works every time. All right, let's see why it's not behaving. All right, well, let's see. You know, that's fine right there. I could just pull that away, but generally what I do, let me select both of them and weld them together. Maybe that's what I didn't do. There we go. Okay, so it, one thing I just learned in showing you is that you maybe you don't even need to weld it. Um, but here it is welded all together, um, and I, it's going to be much better for you to pull off of your mat. And remember, when you're cutting um, these, put them on your mat, and you can say, okay, I need a, each one of these is an inch. So all I need is a one, two, three, four, inch by two inch piece of whatever color cardstock and you can move this one down here and all you're going to need is a three inch by two inch piece of cardstock um, it's a great way to not waste any paper all right guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial um, and i hope you learned something i love welding my words together it really saves time when you're needing to adhere things to a project all right thanks so much bye bye